Can we kick off by tackling some of the biggest mistakes you've seen first home buyers make in this space? Yeah, so the biggest mistakes are not knowing what they're buying or thinking that everything will cost like a small amount of money. So there's a few things that um, we need to consider. When someone goes to buy their first house, often they'll, they'll be priced out of the upper end of the market. So they're looking for that kind of smaller house or that house that they can live with that they're going to add value with over time. Yeah? Yeah. So true. Sometimes we go, all right, well, we've got a budget. Let's say our budget was... 400 I'm going to use a number 400 to buy this house wherever it is and you're like okay well if I buy something a bit cheaper I'll still have that money to renovate if you can Mm -hmm. go under the budget but that's not the way finance works so one of the biggest mistakes we have is that people think that they'll be able to borrow to their capacity to be able to do the renovation but once you've borrowed on that land Mm. sorry They'll get the extra cash in their hands to do something. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. You need to have the cash for the renovation separate to the cash you've got for the deposit and you still need to have the borrowing capacity to do to buy the house. So that complicates things a little bit. It just means that you need to be able to buy outright, have your deposit, your 20% or 10% if you're doing your LBRs, um, and then be able to fund the renovation, maybe over time, maybe all at once, but they're, they're two different things. I love the fact that you kicked off with that (laughs) as the biggest mistake because, you know, you could be tempted to go, oh, they buy a house with bad bones or they buy a house that, you know, the council won't let them do the renovation or whatever. But you've actually said the biggest mistake, and I see this too, we see this uh, as well, is that if you've got, you think your budget's 500,000, you think that includes renovating costs and it isn't because the banks don't love to lend money for renovations, particularly Mm -hmm. if you already owe a huge proportion, you know, you're in LVR territory. So, so I guess for most first home buyers, I guess what that does, you know, let's kick off here with the big elephant in the room, different podcast, but of course, but the same principle here <laughs> is, is that the biggest elephant in the room is that if you are a first home buyer and you think that you're going to be able to buy a renovator in order to be able to get into the market, and potentially in an area that you, you know, you want to live in long term, that you buy and you're going to be able to do the renovation straight away. And I yeah. guess that's something that nearly every single first home buyer, if they're priced out of a market, there's no way that they're going to be able to do that. 